First, disconnect the dryer from the wall. Next, open the dryer's door and with a thin metal tool, release the top's locking tabs. Now, lift the top off. There are six screws you will need to unscrew to remove the front panel. We will start with the top screws, then continue to the screws at the front. Remove the lint screen and set it aside. You will need to release the wire harness from its holding curls. After that, you can release the front panel from its locking tabs. Use both hands to lift the top side of the frame and release it. Disconnect the door switch, use both hands in balanced force. Now you can completely remove the front panel and set it aside. Disconnect the drum light wire. Now, there are five screws you will need to unscrew to remove the bulkhead. Disconnect the moisture sensor wires and lift the bulkhead's tabs from their sockets and set it aside. Next, remove the dryer's drive belt. Using one hand to pull the tension wheel and release the pressure, and one hand to remove the belt from the motor shaft. Make sure to release the wheel slowly while removing the belt from the motor. Carefully, lift the drum slightly and pull out from the dryer like shown in the video. Set the drum aside facing the front side up. Now, using a multimeter, check the fuse for continuity. If the fuse does not show continuity, it means that the fuse is tripped and need to be replaced with a new one. Simply remove the new fuse from its packaging and replace the old one using a Phillips screwdriver. Now you can install the drum back into the dryer. Make sure the drum is supported by the support wheels and can spin freely. Next install the belt around the drum, the grooves supposed to be facing the drum and the colored side up. With one hand, pull the tension wheel to get it closer to the motor, and with the other hand wrap the belt around the motor shaft. Make sure the belt is going under the tension wheel and that the belt is tight after you finish. Next, while holding the dryer's bulkhead close to the drum, slightly lift the drum and lay it on the two support wheels located at the bottom of the bulkhead. Then insert the tabs into their position and carefully make sure all four tabs are in their sockets. Reconnect the moisture sensor wires. Make sure you hear a click. Next, there are five screws to screw back. Now, while holding the front panel, line it with the brackets located at the bottom and make sure they all inserted correctly. Now you can reconnect the drum light and push the panel all the way until the locking tabs are holding the panel still. Secure the wires back to the plastic curls. Make sure there are no wires are hanging loose. This is also the time to reconnect the drum light connector. Make sure you hear a click. Screw back the six screws that holding the front panel. Three at the top. And three at the front. The brass screws with the washers are for the front. Insert the lint screen. Close the door. Lay the top down and push it until you hear a loud snap sound. Reconnect the dryer to the outlet and make sure it works properly.